I think I'm just gonna go to the Chinese place next door. Cause I got some chicken in my fridge that I need to put together. Oh, you just reminded me I've got chicken in my fridge I need to put together. Fuck. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but oh, I, I do have chicken in the fridge. I wanted Chinese. I'm eating Chinese. I don't care. <laughs> I don't give it. I don't give it rat's ass. I'm eating Chinese. Damn it. All right. Well. Um. Well, it's gonna do the what happened last time thing, so you yeah, might want to. Yeah. So I guess we got Bigby chasing after a truck. No, a car on King Street. Well, this should be interesting. Hmm. Let's so welcome back to the Wolf Among Us. Yeah, last time it's a bit of a shock. Um... I do love these slow camera zooms to create drama. <laughs> Freaking creep. That fucking creep. Spineless little fucking rat. Crane? Ugh. God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the... I just need to find Snow. Why? What's going on? Shit! Crane's been... <clears throat> oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's, it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Priorities, beauty, Nikki? geez. <laughs> Are you drinking? Excuse me. Wait. It's still just be mud in your hotel. What? Snow's... Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just... Please be careful when you tell her. And you should tell her. But... I know. No, you don't know. You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. I'm already aware. It's like, I've been gentle with people before. I don't really plan on just throwing this in her face and being like, Hey, by the way, you know your boss? He kind of has a thing for you. How much of a thing? Well, let me show you this picture. I don't actually know where this is in New York. New York's like the one city I've never actually been to. I've been to New York. Really? I spent I spent a week there just uh, by Grand Central Station. I stayed in the hotel that's uh, just above it. Oh, that's freaking cool. I'm, I gotta do that someday. Uh, I might make a trip in March or something. I was working, so it wasn't here, much pleasure. Then you were part of a very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you okay. by claiming. Okay. So for some reason, there's not subtitles. The pain of losing a little weird. Ever but um. I know as well as you that it will never subside. Snow's giving the funeral but procession right now. That, that the memory and uh, I. Will sustain Crane's not well. here, so I don't really and feel like interrupting. In you know, time, we just want to make sure she's safe. Equal in strength to our mourning. So we're just gonna let her finish, and we don't want to piss off these trolls any more than we have already. What you've Absolutely. all been so grateful for. But you know who's here that wasn't here last time when I played through the game? Stubborn and Ooh. patient. Rash Your and Mr. Lawrence. How she carried oh, the torch uh, for the Sheriff. For I'm sorry, I uh um, did you know the deceased? And most of Lily? Oh, um no, not really. I just came because it I don't know. Felt like a thing I should do, I guess. I was angry at first when I heard that Lily was getting a funeral. Holly was getting closure. I wanted that too. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have the better finish. It all evened out. In the end. 
I'm gonna get the guy who did this, Lawrence. Thank you, Bigby. And thanks for saving my life. Take care of things, okay? Bigby, is Lawrence. everything okay? Okay. <laughs> no, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. Wait, what? After you lie, after you promise me. Uh... Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Bigby could do anything Fucking about it. asshole! I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't Damn tell it. me Bigby uh, gives a shit about this. Crane's a prick. Holly, it's gonna be okay. Indeed. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I'm here to talk to Snow. Oh, really? Yes, Holly. This is serious. Okay, okay, look. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat far away from the ceremony, all right? Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. Okay. You hear me? Of course. You won't even know I'm here. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. So Lawrence looks like a gargoyle. You he, know, stoned? Yeah, he kind of looks stoned, but I don't really blame him. This better him. be wildly important. It's been hard enough making a connection with these people. When you pull this kind of stuff, it just resets the clock. Snow. Crane is completely obsessed with you. Oh my god, if this is about how Crane treats me at work... Just I... listen to me for a second, alright? I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was... you know. He replays your story over and over again. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought... I thought that Crane might be here. Out of some twisted respect or something. I don't know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Big B, don't confuse things. Yeah, I gotta show her the photo. Well, this isn't gonna be good. I mean, it'll make it abundantly clear that I'm not- You took a cab here, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be- um, take your time. No, I understand. No, I, I don't it. think it's that important. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go at the motel? Did you find? I anything? went swell. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> no. Yes. I uh, I did. <laughs> it helped a lot. Thanks. I'm not sure I want to tell everyone about this yet. Marissa. <laughs> it's yes. a little bit. <laughs> Coming. Constable. Wait, Fuck. wait, wait, easy now, girl. Ooh. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? 
How do you do? That way, it's proper. Now is really not the time for whatever you Jergovs are planning to do. Well, isn't that the thing of it? Plans. Except it isn't our plans you should be concerning yourself with. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. You're trying to pull this shit at a funeral? We can deal with this later. No, not later. Later's too late. Right now. So what's it going to be? So nice we to have them. a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Fine deal. Yeah, fine. I'll leave Crane alone. Just get out of here. Pleasure to hear it. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're happy to report that everything went smoothly. So if you'll just allow us to get out of your hair... Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your... What deal? I said, all right already. Just go. And go we shall as men of our word. We won't ruin any more of the wedding or whatever. <laughs> what did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Holly, don't move. It's not worth it, Holly. They'll leave on their own. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. Oh, god damn it. I'm gonna kill you! Oh. Holly! They're just Holly. asking for that. Ooh. Ah. I got it, dumb. You have to stop this madness. Oh god damn it, no. Oh. Well, that was book shot to the chest, so um Oh no, never mind, it was the shoulder. Because it wasn't as bad. I was trying to avoid that. I was trying really hard to avoid that this time. <laughs> oh. Well, welcome to episode three. Yeah, welcome to episode three. Last time I said no deal. Um, and that happened. So I was like, this time I was like, oh, let's not have a shootout at the funeral. And no, they all lose their shit no matter what you do, I guess. Oh, damn it. By the way, I'm not honoring that deal <laughs> at all. They were holding me at gunpoint. They can go fuck themselves. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I mean, any deal made under duress does not count. Who's that? I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. I think They'll it's... eventually worm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're going to be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. There you go. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm good. Is she? She's fine, Bigby. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she lived, so I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. I'll try to. All right then, very good. Mmm, chicken. No, I really office. want chicken. I know. I'll have to call you back. 
The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. So, to recap... Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after him. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it? And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I guess that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. Hmm, do you have any other leads? There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just... I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if... I mean, this is gonna sound crazy, but... Do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him. I get it, but... Do you really think he killed those women? Okay, this is a million dollar question, so I'm gonna pause it. Uh, how involved do you think Crane actually is in this? Well, it's got to be deeply involved for him to be in that picture. Whether or not he was the the murderer or the, the he was just in the room beforehand, but he certainly knows everything that's going on in some fashion, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't be there. Unless he's also being, you know, Because it's just, copied. it's incomprehensible to me. I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. Nothing's really clear. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver, a, a coward, a liar, and I'll always hate him. The evidence is circumstantial at best. I'll hate him for how he held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? Ow! Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um, ask you a question? It's kind of personal. And I don't want to offend you, but after tonight, it's on my mind. <laughs> Why? What's on your mind? It's just... When stuff hits the fan, like... Like it did tonight. It feels like before we came to the city. It feels... Kind of like home. And I've heard it said that... Maybe in... Some... Tiny little bottled up way... Deep inside... You kind of... Enjoy it. When things go wrong. Because it gives me. you an excuse to... Just, you know, stop pretending. So what if I do? You think we're broken or something? Is that it? I don't know. Maybe we're just not cut out for this world. We can't eat each other's hearts anymore, Bigby. This can't be like the old days. We have to make it better. Uh, guys? We have a problem. What is it? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean? Missing a piece. Yes, it's a... Uh... Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. What exactly is the hard way? We'll look through his things, his desk, everything. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. Okay, that was going on for a while, pretty long first episode, but uh, now we're on the investigation path, so I figure this is a pretty good place to stop it, and next time we will investigate, 
where the heck Ichabod went and if we can catch up to him in time before something happens, I guess. Um, the, I guess we're racing the Tweedles, right? Because the Tweedles win him too. It seems that way, yeah. All right. We're on the chase next episode.